Hello, dear friends, and thanks so much for inviting me to the 2021 Thomas More uh, International Days. It's a real honour for me to be here. I'm David Evans, and I'm Professor in Sexualities and Genders, Health and Wellbeing at the University of Greenwich in England in the UK. I was meant to have done this presentation live, but sadly that couldn't have been um, achieved. So I've based it on a Mentimeter, which I'll embed into the Spark page that you're viewing this video on. So I'll keep it open for the next 14 days. So please, if any of you go into this, um, especially all of you teachers, if you go into this, uh, click onto the Mentimeter and I'd really appreciate it if you could answer some of those questions. And then as soon as I get the results, I can post those on here once this uh, Mentimeter experience is finished. So you just need to go to menti.com and it's on 58301006. And what I'm going to be looking at is exploring ways of putting sex into the international entrepreneurship for learning and education. But you'll notice I've put an asterisk next to the word sex. So what do I mean by that? By sex, I'm referring to sex, sexualities and sexual health anything at all to do with the whole topic area of sexual health and looking at ways in which we can um, uh, implement this across the learning curriculum for our students. So whether it's in geography, maybe exploring different customs of different parts of the world or different infections with HIV, for example, which countries are most affected by that? Or it could be wider issues of sexual health or on legal programs, it could be looking at the laws around uh, pro prohibiting certain expressions of sex or sexualities, sexual orientations. So anything at all to do with sex, sexualities or sexual health and how we can embed that within the wider curriculum. And as I'm coming from a nursing and midwifery perspective, of course, it's imperative, I would argue, that we embed it across um, all of our curricula there. Now, had this been live, you would have seen this moving in real time. So what I'm asking you to do is to go on to Menti, the, the link is later on on this Spark page, go into it within the next 14 days after this presentation would have taken place and have a vote here. So I'm asking you, how many of you have any specific courses or modules at all at your university for any of the topics showing here? Now, it may be issues of um, holistic uh, sexual health. It could be that you study things around sexual infections and HIV, maybe abortion, contraception, sexualities, um, all the different things listed here on this Menti. If you have a look at those and then vote and uh, say whether you're actually doing anything. Now, it may be just short lecture sessions on specific topics or maybe you've got courses um, uh, designated for those as well. From the point of view of entrepreneurs building sex across uh, the academy, it's really important that each and every person who feels passionate about talking around these issues of sex, sexualities or sexual health, that you actually have a voice to share this. So quite often at many universities, because there's no formal platform to discuss any of this, it could be down to individual entrepreneurs. So it could be people who are going to be ambassadors or champions to do this. It may be if you're teaching at an institution and maybe you're going to start bringing in some case studies that involve issues of sex, sexualities or sexual health. So it may be case studies or maybe some study topics or um, maybe you bring in some, uh, uh, some visiting lecturers to talk about different services or charities uh, um, uh, within your area. So look at ways of building it, especially as individuals, because at the moment you may be a lone voice in doing this. But as soon as you start speaking up, hopefully you'll notice that others want to join you as well. Now, supposing we could all get together and form a collaborative online inter international learning course. So if a few like-minded people thought, right, let's all do something. Let's share this across the platforms at our universities. What are the type of things that you'd actually want um, or what would help you uh, to build towards 
um, a collaborative online international learning course. So on this page, you've got the opportunity to type in some responses of what would help you or what you want. I told you this was going to be a short presentation. This is the final slide. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you want to contact me at all, you can see my Twitter account there as David underscore T underscore Evans. And please don't forget to um, hashtag in the Thomas More University uh, International Days. Thanks for listening. And I look forward to seeing your responses on the Mentimeter. Bye bye.